think I'm going to be your captain and storyteller today. First thing I would like to ask you to please stay seated, keep your arms and feet placed in the most complete supervisor here. Now most people when they go to Storybook Labs, they do it through the pages of the book. But not you, not today. You get to go there for real. The only thing is there's only one way to get the Storybook Land for real. And that is right through the jaws of Monstro the Whale. He's the very same whale that swallowed Geppetto and the Now, like all good stories, ours begins with once upon a time, there was a big bad wolf. And that big bad wolf, lives in the cave, will be coming up here on our left hand side. And he spends all of his time trying to get to the island in the middle where the three little pigs live. The first house there is made out of straw, the second house is made out of wood, the third house on the road is made out of 100 percent wolf fruit drinks. <laughs> As we come around the bend, we'll be approaching the queen in the countryside of Star Palace. She was on one golden afternoon at Alice Hall, the white rabbit on that path, and her little cheeky best friend, the Fraser. And where Alice fell down, down, down her rabbit hole, all the way to Wonderland. There are dog and caterpillar, and here in the center of the Alice Park. That's the park that Wendy, Michael, and John Darling flew over on their way to Neverland, where you never, never have to grow up. Up ahead of us is the city of mystery and enchantment, Agrabah. There is a marketplace in the fog of the land of the land. And although they can be in a couple of months, with the help of a genius, this man's land, they fell in love, were married, and now live in the Sultan Palace. But just as Aladdin jazz is blown blue, so the green flowers and rubber seeds, there's a rose covered archway. The Aladdin Jasmine flew over under sideways on their fancy carpet ride to a whole new world. Our stories are filled with love and light, but sometimes there's some darkness in them. Like up ahead, the Cave of Wonders we're about to enter. The legend has it that there's a curse on this cave that can only be lifted by the genie of the lamp. The legend goes on to say that whoever can free the genie of the lamp grants three wishes. Now speaking of wishes, Snow White wished to be safe from the evil queen. So she fled to the forest and found this cottage here. That's the home of the seven dwarfs. And because of Snow White's kindness to them, the seven dwarfs left their stay. Over on the other side, Cinderella wished to attend the ball with the castle, but her wish and that mother will not allow it. However, her very godmother did grant that wish. Cinderella did get to go to the ball. Cinderella stayed a little bit too long at the ball. Because she was passing down the hill on the road with Sierra Carey, but she's still there. She wanted to turn back and go to the home and go to the world. There's also a lot of magic here in Storybook Land. All the little trees that you see will never ever grow up because of a magical enchantment that Tinkerbell has put on them. Storybook Land was a favorite area of the park of Walt Disney, who as you know was a master storyteller. And his stories have inspired new stories and storytellers from today. Up ahead of us is Toad Hall, the home of Mr. Toad. Toad is almost his former home of one of the Alpha Wild Rides. And his other cars are in particular. And that brings me to the story about the frozen chicken of the Aaron's Rock. You know, some of that used to show her actually talent during the Mount Tabo, but it's to honor what he's not for her going to be, because that actually is love to you. Alpine to the Charlie the way out of the way, to a real boy. Ariel 
world of warfare, they wish to give up her life under the sea and become part of our world. When that happens, she took her first step to the lake on the beach coming up here in our life, and now lives in the castle with her friend Harry. But the Little Mermaid story actually started in the underwater kingdom of Atlantic, where her father is being right as the ruler. Now it looks like our boys and our story are both coming to an end. So this time I'd like to remind everyone to please keep your hands and feet in the boat at all times. And I do hope you enjoyed your time here at Storybook Land. And I hope you all have a great time here at Storybook Land. And thank you for riding with us.